Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna be doing the weekly reading for the sign of Leo. So we have toxic triggers. It says, find the strength to remove yourself from toxic influences in your life. So Spirit is saying that you may be need to remove some toxic people, walk away from some toxic people, set boundaries with some toxic people um, in your life or situations in your life. Um, it doesn't even have to be a specific person. It could be a friend group. It could be a workplace. It could be a lot of different things. But Spirit says you need to find that, or and for some of you, you need to also find the strength to not let a toxic person or toxic people or whatever trigger you, okay? Because we do have triggers here. There's something or somebody around you or somebody that could be coming into your life or whatever that's going to trigger you and they're telling you to find the strength to not let somebody trigger you. Ooh, we have temptation on the back of the deck. Yeah. What is tempting you at this moment may not be a wise choice. So some of you guys are feeling tempted to do something, to reconnect with somebody, to spend some, like to do something here. But Spirit is, is cautioning you. Like they're, they're pretty much telling you that something is just not good. That whoever this person or this situation is, they're not good for you right now. And you may feel tempted to respond to this person, see this person, whatever. But they're telling you that it's probably not a wise choice right now. Hmm. Yeah, it says inner goddess or God. It says express your divine feminine or masculine energy and loving wisdom will transform your life. Even if you're a masculine, the divine may be um, telling you to hone in on your, um, sorry guys, hold on. Hone in on your feminine energy. Maybe take a more passive approach um, when it comes to a situation. Like if you're a masculine and they're telling you to express your divine feminine energy, they're maybe telling you at this time to maybe stop chasing somebody or to stop pursuing a certain person because they're not good for you. Um, or if you're a feminine energy, they're telling you that you're too much in your masculine energy and you need to stop chasing this person or pursuing this person because they're not good for you. Does that make sense? So, yeah. Because you're dealing with somebody that is a taker here. Yes, you do love this person. There is love here. But this person is a taker, okay? Because it says there's a dance of give and take. What you give, you will get back. Um, give me one more before I move on. So we have Lone Wolf. So maybe this is the time for you guys to just be like embracing singleness, focusing on yourself. It says listen to your inner, inner wolf and embrace your sacred, sacred wild nature that thirsts for freedom. We do have wave of emotions here. Yeah, a new experience will enter your life that will start a wave of emotions within you. So you guys may have new love coming in or a new love experience coming in here. And it definitely looks like it's something that you will, somebody or something you will have emotion for, something that you will have feelings for. Like, so one more. So we have speak your truth, Gemini energy. What else did we just have? Yeah, some of you guys literally have new love coming in. Libra energy here too. Choose your words wisely. Remember that your words have consequences. Ooh, so yeah, they're maybe telling you like, somebody maybe is about to do something to try to trigger you. And Spirit says, be, 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 choose your, speak your truth. Like, be, don't be afraid to just tell this person like it is, but they're telling you to choose your words wisely. Give one more on speak your truth. We have tears of, ooh, tears of remorse because you made something that you say something you'll regret. Some of you guys have regrets with some things that you've said or maybe even like interacting with a certain person. Make peace with your regrets and allow the past to guide your actions. Think about how you've handled a situation or a person in the past and how, if you like, the, did you like the outcome of that or did you not like the outcome of that? Because if you didn't like the outcome, then what does that mean? That means you have to do something differently when it presents itself again. So again, whatever this situation is, it's not good for you. It's toxic. It's triggering, which triggers are not always bad, guys. You know, triggers come up. That's Triggers are meant to show us where, where we need to work on healing, healing ourselves, what we need to work on, okay? Um, what we still need to heal. But spirit is very clearly saying that something or somebody is not good for you and i feel like it's because it's it's a, you're dealing with somebody that's taking from you it's a lack of reciprocity but we have bear tree it says don't waste your energy yeah they're telling you don't waste your breath here with yeah you can maybe you can tell this person how you feel but don't give them too much of your energy don't go back and forth with this person for hours don't argue with them don't be typing them and send them no paragraphs okay I mean, you may, maybe if you, if you need to speak your piece, maybe one paragraph, <laughs> five, five, five on the camera. So big, major life changes are manifesting, big change. 
big change is coming but they're telling you do not put too much of your effort um and energy into this person because it says don't waste your energy or efforts on something that is clearly not bearing fruit yep don't stoop down to this person's level yeah boundaries yep send honor your boundaries to avoid being taken advantage of what did i say guys i told you somebody's taking from you you're a light they're trying to steal your light they're trying to steal your good energy your healing energy somebody may even try be trying to like get you to stoop to their level or they're trying to dim you like or they do they may not be even intentionally trying to dim you but they do because they're they're an energy vampire or they they're taking from you so they do dim you so it says you're a light that can't be hidden so don't ever try to dim it for anyone yeah it's like with, if you deal with this person you would have to kind of lower your vibration or lower yourself to be with them settle um yeah settle for less than you deserve and spirit says that is something that we should you know that is something we should never do okay if this person really wants you they will meet you at your level they will rise up and meet you at your level so let's see what else do they need to know about this spirit i brought out the oldie but goodie deck i literally never use this deck anymore but it, oh this isn't the right deck um, but those of you that have watched me for quite some time, you guys remember probably that I used to use this deck all the time. This was my go-to deck. All right. I always started my readings with this. I really feel like Spirit is saying that some of you guys need to be single for right now. And I know some of you guys don't want to hear that, but what I see here... And it doesn't have to be your reading. All right. So let's see. So we have divorce. Okay. This card, I already just saw this card. So yeah, again, this is the card that maybe even just say that. That, you know, some of you guys need to be free single for right now. Independent. To focus on just being happy and fulfilled on your own. Not needing another person. Um, we do have divorce. What says terminating a marriage. Separation will be costly. Um, complicated relationship. We have freedom, wanting to be free. So somebody may be wanting to be free from a marriage or some type of complicated relationship. But maybe they feel like they're going to lose some type of money leaving that situation. Wanting to be free, not ready for commitment, independent, happy, single. Play more. Ooh, now we have pregnancy. So we have getting pregnant, building a family, giving birth to something. Play more. Plastic. It says surface level relationship, fake love messages, not a real love connection. Okay. Clarify divorce. We have memories. So yeah, stuck in the past. Somebody's still stuck with somebody or they feel stuck with somebody that they have history with or they did have some good times with this person, but I just heard the good, the bad outweighs the good or now or something like that. Freedom. Put out freedom. Engagement. See, somebody wants to be free. Because they want to commit to you. They want to make things official with you. But there is still somebody from their past that they're still tied to or stuck with. They Or at least they feel that way. Guys, I'm going to have to close my door. My children are so loud. See, this person, look at this. Something is brewing forbidden fruit. Okay, hold on. I was already getting forbidden fruit energy. Because we had that temptation card. That temptation card literally has a skull holding an apple. So it's like the same type of energy what's this see dry spell what is this this person if they're in another commitment or married they don't have sexual relations with that person <laughs> like they because let's see here so we have something is brewing we have dry spell that wanted to pop out let's see dry spell we have forbidden fruit and we have something is brewing here breaking point losing emotional strength on the verge this person has been trying to like stay away from you. 10 10 on the camera. Yeah, they're they're not this person's been trying to stay away from you. But I feel like they're yeah, sexual abstinence, no action in love, long time being single. <laughs> so I don't know if this person is married or if they're in another relationship or not. If they're in a relationship, they're not intimate with that person. Um or if they're I don't know, if they're single or separated, like just in the process of a divorce and separated, they've been not really getting any action, okay? And I feel like they're trying to stay away from you, but it's getting to that point where they don't feel like they can stay away from you. They Why do they view you as the forbidden fruit? Yeah, difficult decision, exploring possibilities, fear of choosing wrong, going in circles. See, uh, this is that repeating cycle that keeps coming through in the collective readings, all of them. 
But yeah, somebody, why, they see a future with you. Ooh, love activation, love offer, extravagant gestures. What? Oh, so when this person feels like they can't have you anymore, wants you to themselves, attachment, fear of losing you. Look what this person's going to try to give you when they feel like they're about to lose you. Wedding, love activation, love offer, extravagant gestures. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get more clarity here. What is um pregnancy? Beauty. Intimidated by your beauty, your beauty stands out. Physical attraction. The be the pregnancy card could also be like Empress energy. So, you know, they are intimidated by you because you are this divine masculine or this divine feminine energy. They do find you very physically attractive. What is beauty and pregnancy? Tell me more about plastic. Reconciliation. See, they want to reconcile with you. What does this have to do with my collector? Plastic and reconciliation. Sacrifice. Unvalued. Take it for granted. Unequal give and take. I'm telling you. Not feeling appreciated. Sacrifice. Painful decisions. Decisions. Sacrifice for love. Must give up something. What are they feeling they have to give up? See? Dry spell. What? Sexual absence. No last long time being single. What is what? So they feel like they're gonna have to give up proof. Somebody knows that they're gonna have to prove to them, prove to you something to you here. Proof and dry spell. Player, yep, a dick. See, ooh, this is crazy, y'all. This person has a sex addiction or something. This person is a player. They like to sleep with multiple people. This is actually come. I forget who, who else is reading this was. This person knows that if they're going to be with you, like be with you, be with you. They keep trying to return to you and have something surface level because they don't want to have to fully give up this sex addiction that they have. The only reason I'm saying that it's that, guys, because we have addiction, we have player, and we have dry spell. This person feels like, what? <laughs> <sighs> Well, I'm sure that if the two of you were together, you wouldn't be abstinent, right? What? Why does this person think that? It's like, they feel like, or they're going to have uh, to prove to you that they haven't slept with anybody else or that they're, they're, they're truly single or something like that. This person does not want to have to give up playing the field. Their addiction to sex, they can be also addicted to something else. Some type of destructive behavior and they're going to have to prove themselves to you. Huh. See, I don't... Clarify dry spell. Clarify dry spell. Knowing the path. Aligning with your purpose. Accepting your story on the right track. Okay? Secretly snot... Yeah, it's like they're watching you. This person is watching you... And they're not really getting any action. This person, for some of you, this person is trying to stay faithful to you. Yeah, like they may have, a, I don't know, they may have somebody else. We're going to get clarity on that in a second. This person is trying to get their life together. Cleaning up life, making healthy choices, cutting out the negativity. This person knows that they're they're trying to like stay I don't abstinent like they're not sleep if they're not sleeping with you they're not sleeping with anybody else guys they're watching you I feel like they're trying to hold back from you because they know that if the two of you reconcile and there they can only still give you something very surface level or they can't fully commit to you so they've been just watching you from a distance they know what they want, but why are they feeling mad? They're mad. Why are they mad? Maybe they're they feel like they can only watch you because they know that you're mad at them. Yeah, somebody is literally not getting any action. What is this? This person's trying to prove to you 
that they've changed or something. Tell me more about that they've really cleaned up their life. This person's trying to prove something to you. What are they trying to prove? Tell me about paralyzed by holding back, holding back, fear of falling in love. What are they trying to have proof about? Opposites, differences, creating barrier, love and strive, love versus ego. Sorry, guys. Somebody is out here doing something stupid in the parking lot. I'm just like <laughs> getting distracted. Oh, why are they holding back? They're holding back from you. Self-delusion. See, what are they deluding themselves about? Unlocking. Unlocking what? Soulmate. What is self-delusion and unlocking and soulmate? Wedding. Okay. This person has like some type of false perception that they there's a certain way they have to go about doing things to be able to have a future with you. Like the way that this the way that this person thinks that they what they think they have to do to be with you, to be able to have a future with you, it, it's not true. They, I don't know. What do they think they need to do to have this future? See, yeah, they know. Well, yes, they definitely need to be single, open to dating, currently no other partner available. So maybe this person is trying to stay away from you until they either are ready to just be like be just with you. They don't have any other like people that they're dealing with or they don't have another person that they're still attached to. Yeah, because uh, options. Yeah. This person knows that uh, you're not even dealing with them when they're in this energy where they want to have multiple people at the same time. It's like this person is trying to get to the point where they're just fully, completely single and then approach you. So what is the illusion, though? Trapped. See, an illusion of being trapped. I already mentioned that. And in an unpleasant situation, feeling stuck. Why do they feel stuck? Bad intentions, red flags, lies, and secrets. Be vigilant, protect yourself. Why do they feel stuck? Hypnotized, captured by love, hard to resist, seduce. What does this have to do with my collective? Dating. Boundaries. Out in the cold. You're leaving this person behind. Oh, yeah, this person feels stuck right now because it's like they don't feel like they have what, what they know that you want. They feel like they can't offer it to you right now. They, it's like, but like, why won't they just change though? They know that you're getting ready to get out there and you're getting over them and you're getting out there and you're ready to start meeting other people. You've set these boundaries. You're leaving them behind. They don't, they don't feel like they have enough to give to you. And that may or may not be true. Why do they feel, why are they just, why aren't they just changing what they need to change and coming towards you? Withdrawal, disconnect, test of love, relationship, breakdown. What about separation? Love bomber, first love, and star. Why do they feel like this? there needs to be this disconnect right now? Why do they feel like there needs to be this disconnect? Because they have a lack of clarity or, yeah, they don't feel like they can be consistent. Yeah, they're just still not ready to, they're still running from working on some things within themselves. Like, that's all it is, guys. If they have the ability, they could if they really wanted to. But they're still trying to resist this connection. They're still trying to run from this connection. They're still trying to run from themselves. They still have like fears of intimacy. Give me one more. They know they need, they need to heal. It says no one compares to you. First true love, new love experiences. Ooh, see, what about sex? Mirroring. Sex and mirroring? Third party and lessons. What about third party and lessons? My rock. Healing. What about a third party though? Yeah, painful love experiences. First fight for love, worth the troubles. Does this person think that... Let's see. They could be having a perspective shift about a third party. Let's see. What are they, um, what's going on with the third party? Trapped. See, they feel trapped with the third party. But they're not really trapped there. They just, it's an illusion. But why are they feeling trapped with that person? That's what I don't understand. 
See, yes, we know, third party. Yes, the why. Solid foundation, security, and stability. Mm, what about that true love? What's that just wine collective? Healing. It's just they don't feel healed. I don't know how else to put it, guys. They don't feel healed enough to be with you. They do want they do want to like have a family with you, and they do find you very attractive. Um, they know that you have loved and supported them. They know that they could have something secure and solid with you. They know that there is love here, or maybe they feel like. Mm, tell you what about third party habitual liar constantly lying can't hide in their lies anymore yeah they could have been they that you guys maybe even confronted them about this third party and they will not admit it to you tell you more cut through but there's some type of clarity here that what finality oh so maybe they found out either you guys found out about this third party and you ended things with this person or they they're finding out something about how this third party lied to them to make them feel like they were oh they were trapped, but they really weren't. And once they find get this clarity, it's it's a done deal. What so what it, where does my collective fit into this? Closed heart. What about closed heart? Fights. Spell work. Manipulating gossip. See, somebody, there's somebody that has been manipulating this person. Gossip about you, manipulating outcome, attract, yeah creating drama okay so what's going to be the outcome for my collective and this person we have proof yeah proof that what needing confirmation that see somebody wants to know this person wants to know if you are with somebody else if you yeah what about wedding boundaries clean up this person just knows that they're going to have to get their life together to, to be with you that's all i know yeah they're going to regret not taking a risk on this like because you're cutting them off now they're trying to strategize how to like kind of like have something more stable with you. Tell me more about clean up boundaries, wedding. Yeah, wish come true. They feel like you are their wish come true. Something is brewing. What is some, what is brewing? Yep. Um, what does something is brewing mean for divine intervention? And we have heartbreak. I'm telling you. If they do have another person, that is coming to an end. Because they love you. No one compares to you. Yeah, they're becoming single from that person. Why are they breaking up with that third party? See, because they weren't seeing something clearly. I told you, whatever they're going to get clarity on about this third party, it's, that's what's bringing an end. Yeah, look at this. Strength of battle, karmic cycle. Yeah, what, what were they deluding themselves about the third party? What, were they, what was the self-delusion about the third party? Okay, what does it have to do with this other person? Unrequited. Not much. What is... Love and growth. Children. They, somebody was maybe using children as a, as a pawn. Mm. <laughs> they're having a shift in perspective about that person i don't really know exactly what's happening but yeah um 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 let's see here let's get a few tarot cards and then i am taking this over to the extended reading We have the five of cups in reverse the two of wands in reverse the two of pentacles in reverse and the hierophant all i know guys <laughs> clear for the five of cups in reverse the moon clear that what see what is this illusion energy what about that what is the what about this illusion judgment scorpio energy they're waking up they're seeing through the illusion now that something all i know guys is that they've been in this illusion that's been keeping them stuck are they they're under the illusion that they they are stuck why do they feel like they're stuck there they're moving on now. why do they feel like they were stuck there that's what i don't get yeah three of cups why do they feel like they were stuck there 
We have Pisces energy. We have Virgo energy. We have Scorpio. We have Pisces again. We have Taurus. It's just this person doesn't like... This person's lazy, guys. I'll be honest with you. They just felt like they they couldn't um, put enough work and effort into this connection with you. Like, that they felt like... Tell me more about this person's perspective on the relationship with my collective. So we have the Two of Cups. Yes, there is a strong connection here. The feelings are mutual, but... Justice. What about justice? Things will need to be balanced. Like I said from the very beginning, guys... You're dealing with somebody who likes to, that, that doesn't, they like, they like to be babied or they like to be taken care of. I'm going to be honest. Like, they like, they know that with you, that things would have to be balanced. Like, there would have to be an equal give and take. And just to be blunt, honest, this person wants to take. They've not wanted to give. And the reason why they don't like giving is because this person has has trauma and they need healing. They have a hard time opening up and being vulnerable and putting themselves out there in that way so when it comes to their connections that they have with other people they just make people give and give and give to them and they don't give anything as a means to protect themselves but in the process they're hurting the person that they're dealing with so whoever this other person is that they're dealing with is somebody we have scorpio energy here again libra um, whoever this other person is apparently does not require this person to give like they they they're they, they let this person take from them does that make sense this per this other third party does not require reciprocity and balance within a relationship they know that with you things would have to be balanced they would have to get their life in order but they would, and they know that they would also have to take accountability for some things. You would hold them accountable. They wouldn't be able to get away with things. Um, so this has actually been coming through a lot in my collective reading. So this per and this person has not been wanting to change. They're very resistant to change. So that's why they feel stuck. Because this person just, what you want, what you require, they want you, right? But they want you on their terms. They want to, they want everything their way or the highway. And right now, this person, or had they, up until this point, they haven't wanted to have anything where it requires them to give in the same way that you give. Or you know what I mean? It's so, it's super unfortunate, guys. It's just so unfortunate. So that's why they feel stuck because they do want you, but they want you on their terms. And you're not allowing that from what I can see here. You're not allowing this person to just take advantage of you and use you and, just, you know, uh, do whatever they want to do while being with you. And that's why they, and they're, they're not ready to grow. They're not ready to grow up. They're not ready to change their life. They're not ready to completely real, like compromise and to remove certain things from their life to be with you. They want to clarify pregnancy and, um, beauty seven of pentacles. I'm telling you, they, they know. Yeah. Queen of cups, Pisces, cancer, Scorpio energy. The Page of Swords. What are they curious about? The High Priestess. The Eight of Wands. See, they're still very... They're still toxic. Just know that you're going to hear from this person. That's why it's spirit. What was the very first messages that we got from this reading? They're telling you to not let this person trigger you. And that they're not in a good energy. So it's probably best that you not be around them right now. And they're, in, they're a leech. They're a taker. This person does not know. They know what equal give and take is, but they just don't want to do it. I need one more. What is um pregnancy and beauty? What does pregnancy and beauty mean for my collective? Which I'm telling you, you're everything that this person has ever wanted. They're just not ready for it. They're not ready to open up. Unavailable, avoiding intimacy, emotional burdens. Yeah. Give me one more and then I'm done. Cut through, but see clarity that what healing love and growth this is my collective twin flame of course of course <laughs> new love so they're gonna let go of it what's this mean for my collective hot and cold what does hot and cold mean for my collective work they're gonna take a risk what's this risk mean for this connection what does the risk mean for this connection? New cycle. See, they're going to take a risk to have a new beginning with you. 
but I feel like this person healing and love and growth. They're gonna make a. They're end up. They're gonna end up making that sacrifice to be with you, including getting their life together. Because I feel like this person, they don't want to lose you. What is the clarity though? The cutthroat, cutthroat card, happiness, finding happiness, happy ending, feeling blessed and grateful. So that's what they're about to be gaining clarity in regards to you. Yeah, knowing exactly which where they want to go and where they're supposed to be. Why are they realizing that now? Why are they realizing that now? What's making them realize that that's what they want? Um, yes, I know they're coming. They're gonna come in with a love offer. Yep, there's all those cards that came out in the very beginning. They're gonna start having a heart shock or twin flame ascension, heart space opening, awakening, leading to a love offer. But why? What's triggering the awakening and the ascension? What about gossip? All around them. Can't escape the connection. Telepathic experiences. Your love haunts them. Depression. Hopelessness, pessimism, feeling victimized. Regret. They, for some of you, they also regret telling some people around them, gossiping about you or telling people some things about you. Yeah, playing games, yeah. Carelessness, not serious, playing games, tricks, foolish choices. They maybe were listening to the wrong people too. Two-faced lack of, yeah, this person like uh, was two-faced or they, they, they betrayed you in some way. They've been watching you though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.